Every year, in the heart of downtown Los Angeles, the Science Bowl Regional Competition is held. Encompassing dozens of schools within the geographical boundaries of the Los Angeles Unified School District, the Regional gives teams a shot at competing at the national competition, as well as various prizes. And it's an all-day event involving um, about 48 teams from 27 high schools all around the city. LAGP is very proud, honored, excited to be the main host and sponsor for this regional competition. Before the full competition, teams are required to compete in a scrimmage or a set of practice rounds. The scrimmage is held five weeks prior to the regional, allowing teams new and old to get a better feel for the game's many subtleties. Let's first go over the basics of the competition. Science Bowl is a competition in a quiz bowl style format, utilizing a buzzer system, a timer, a scorekeeper, and a trained moderator who conveys a set of questions. Two teams of four players compete in a match of two eight-minute halves, testing their scientific knowledge with challenging questions across a wealth of topics. The two types of questions are short answer and multiple choice. Answers to both types may be challenged by either team before the start of the next question. After customary introductions, the timer starts and the first toss-up question is read. Toss-up, chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following cannot be derived from the ideal gas law? When a question is read, several scenarios can occur. If a player buzzes in the middle of the question, interrupting the moderator, Why? Avogadro's number. Interrupt. Be captain. They must answer promptly. If the player stalls, or if their answer is incorrect. Incorrect. Four points. Team A. I'll reread the question for Team A. The opposing team is granted four points, and the question is reread in its entirety. If the buzz instead occurred after the moderator had finished reading the question and the opposing team also answers incorrectly, no points are granted to either team. The next toss-up is subsequently read. If instead a player answers the toss-up question correctly, 15, 12. B captain. 6.5 That is correct. Four points, team B. Bonus question, team B. Their team is awarded four points and the exclusive ability to answer a 10-point bonus question. While bonuses are more lucrative than toss-ups, they are generally more challenging as well. As such, team members may cooperate within a 20-second discussion window, a privilege not granted for toss-up questions. When decided on an answer, the captain must direct it to the moderator. If correct, the team receives 10 points. No penalty is given for incorrect answers. Questions continue until the end of the half, which is directly followed by a short break. The same process repeats again for the second half, wherein the team with the most points at the final takes the match. If the match score is tied in the round robin tournament, a tie is added to each team's record. In the case of tied records, however, a tiebreaker game is initiated for the applicable teams at the end of the round robin tournament. In the case of a two team tie, each team is given a series of five tiebreaker toss up questions. Standard toss up scoring rules apply, but bonuses are not given. If the teams are still tied at the end of the five question round, five additional questions are read, and so on as necessary. When a point difference at the end of a round is eventually achieved, the game ends, and the leading team moves on. If the tie instead contains three or more teams, each is separated into different rooms, with each question read by separate moderators. In this battle of attrition, teams are eliminated at the end of each five-question round if they have attained less than the highest point value scored by another team. Rounds continue until the highest score is not matched by another team. The winner, or winners of the tiebreaker game, depending on the quota, are then seeded into the tournament bracket, the second part of the competition. After a day of scrimmage matches, North Hollywood's A and B teams are better prepared for the upcoming tournament. For many months prior to the scrimmage, North Hollywood High School's Science Bowl team has met after school every Tuesday and Thursday for practice. Practices often last several hours, each consisting of mock games held in the lead up to the official competition. I was gonna say that. <laughs> the team is coached by Len Soloff, a retired science teacher whose leadership led to a national victory in 2001, and Altair Main, who took over as lead coach in 2002. Main, in taking the lead, has continued the winning tradition, with the team holding 19 victories in the regional tournament out of 21. In addition, the team has claimed nine top five finishes in the national tournament, including second place just last year. So why do you think North Hollywood has been 
been so successful over the years? Uh, there's a lot of reasons. Um, at this point, some of it's momentum. Um, we get great students, and a lot of the best students here try out for Science Bowl, in part because of the winning record. And uh, after you've been winning for decades, um, it's just an expectation that people will take it really seriously, which they do. They take it seriously when they try out. They work really hard once they make the team. And uh, I mean, nobody wants to be that team, the team that lost. North Hollywood's B team is known for being unusually exceptional. Quite commonly, they face A team during the elimination tournament, sometimes in finals. Let's meet this year's captain. So how's it feel being captain of B team? Um, it's pretty good. It's a really fun and great learning experience. And through being B team captain, I've learned a lot and um, started to branch out of my own subjects. B team's competitiveness, however, wouldn't be nearly as pronounced if it weren't for A team's continued dominance. So how long have you been on Science Bowl? So nominally, I've been on Science Bowl for two and a half years, but I've actually come to Science Bowl meetings for the past three years, starting the second semester of freshman year. And I just sort of spectated and sometimes participated in the Science Bowl meetings. And I mean, I tried out at the end of freshman year and since then I've been on Science Bowl. Albert is joined by four teammates whose specialties complement his extraordinary ability. Who are the members of North Hollywood A? So there's me and I try to focus on physics and chemistry. Then there's Albert the Younger, whose focus is mostly biology. There's Cindy, who also focuses on biology. Lina, who focuses on Earth and space. And um, Tom, who focuses on math and physics. During the week before the tournament, team members move to a dedicated room. Rounds and studying continue here throughout each school day. So how do you feel about this year's regional competition? Um, this is my last regionals. Um, I'm a senior now and I've built up a lot of really good memories at the past two regionals. And so going into this regionals, of course I want to do well, but I think I'm more focused and excited for meeting the teams again and just being back into the competition space. On February 23rd, 42 teams returned to the LADWP John Ferraro building for the regional competition. The tournament has a two-part structure. First, a round-robin tournament is played. Then, after rankings are determined, the top 16 teams are seeded and placed into the double elimination tournament. Upon arriving at the tournament, teams are treated to breakfast and briefed on the competition structure. Team North Hollywood seems rather festive today. Finally, after an opening speech given by Walter Zeisel, the tournament commences. North Hollywood A's first match is against Chaminade. Nucleo base. Uh, B captain. Adenine. That is correct. Four points to Team B. Sting. Interrupt B captain. Equilibrio. Equilibrium is correct. Four points to Team B. At the half, North Hollywood leads 84 to 24. After another eight minutes of buzzing. It is said to be in what state? Interrupt B captain. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is correct. Four points to Team B. North Hollywood remains on top with a score of 176 to 32. Round two pits A team against Venice B. Within the first few minutes, the team stumbles, giving Venice a brief advantage. At the half, however, team A pulls ahead significantly with a score of 54 to 18. At the end of the second half, North Hollywood wins with a score of 152 to 32. After two more A team victories, I followed B team for two rounds. With a loss in round 4, Team B's play was somewhat shaky going against Holy Martyrs A. B3. X. That is correct. 4 points for Team B. B2. That is correct. 4 points for Team B. Bonus for Team B. But with a spectacular finish of 208-8, to B Team decisively takes the match. But the final round of round robin would prove to be quite close. Uh, Synchrocked would for 25-5. B captain. That's correct. Bonus is physics short answer. That is correct. And that's the match. So all well done both teams. At the final, North Hollywood B wins by only 16 points, taking the match with a score of just 96 to 80. At lunch, the double elimination bracket is decided while teams take a break. So how did the round robin tournament go? The round robin tournament went really well. Uh, Noho A is first seed going into double elimination, so hopefully that goes well. Um, and Noho B is also doing really well. They're like fifth seed, I think, going to double LM. So um, hopefully we don't run into them on the bracket for a really good time. After an hour, the teams move to the respective competition rooms. 
Placed in the same room as last year, Team A begins their first game of the elimination tournament with laces B. What time? Interrupt A2. That is correct. Four points, bonus question, physics, short answer. That is correct. And with a score of 4 to 176, North Hollywood remains in CCR1. The next game against Van Nuys A continues North Hollywood's massive leads with a score of 4 to 42 at the half. The interrupt A captain. That is correct. And 8 to 128 at the final. Round 3 oversees A team's fiercest competition yet their own B team. In a stunning first half filled with impressive yet questionable play. Interrupt uh, B3. That is correct. <laughs> Bonus question. B3. Six spiders. Incorrect. Nitrogenase. <laughs> team B takes a solid lead over Team A. The game against B team was actually one of the most stressful games of the entire competition. Yeah, it was a little bit surprising, but also they were a really good team and we've obviously done a lot of practice. So we just sort of tried extra hard in the second round. Um, and yeah, we ended up winning, but yeah, it was definitely a stressful and interesting match. In the fourth round, a team is placed against Francisco Bravo A. Whichever team wins this round is guaranteed a finalist position. What type of connective tissue links muscles to bones? A3, that is correct. And while Bravo A puts up a valiant effort. Uh, B captain, that is correct. A captain, that is correct. B captain, that is correct. A C interrupt. A captain. A C D C. That is correct. So it's a band. Okay. They are ultimately defeated, 30 to 126. In the lower bracket, B team is defeated by Laces A as they were last year. Bravo A, however, wins their game against Laces to secure a rematch against North Hollywood. The final match is moderated by Adam Diamond, a geneticist, patent attorney, and science bowl alumnus. All right, let us start. Toss up one, chemistry, multiple choice. In a polyelectronic atom, which of the following orbitals would have the lowest energy? W, 3S, X, 4S, Y, 3P, Z, 3D. Interrupt, A captain. W. That is correct, four points, team A. Y, for capacitance in series, the equivalent capacitance is less than, interrupt, B captain. Y. Correct, four points, team B. Z, the carbon, interrupt, A captain. Z. Correct, four points, team A. Sunspots. Correct, 10 points, team B. After a furiously competitive first half, the score stands at 50 to 26, North Hollywood. After two minutes, the match resumes with the second half. And A3. Pituitary. Correct, four points, team A. Unfortunately for Bravo, North Hollywood quickly gains momentum, expanding their already substantial lead. One. A captain. Y. Correct. Four points, team A. X. That is correct. Ten points, team A. Posit. Interrupt. A captain. Maisons. Correct. Four points, team A. B captain. Trigonal bipyramidal and square pyramidal. Uh, that is incorrect. You may. Time. The answer is trigonal bipyramidal and square bipyramidal. And that was the last question of the match. All right. And with that, North Hollywood takes the match with a score of 114 to 34. In April, the team will go on to represent the LA district in the national competition, a brutal tourney with huge stakes in the fiercest teams in the nation. I asked you last year and I'm asking you again. What are your thoughts going into the national competition? Oh boy, that's hard. Um, I don't know, I have a great team. I had a great team last year, obviously. They finished second in the country. Nats is really challenging, and um, I mean, I don't want to be negative about it, but like, I can never be too hopeful because there are a lot of good teams, and we are studying really hard for this competition. There are certainly an awful lot of smart students at National Science Bowl, and um, it's very hard to forecast. I think the, the best I can say is I think we're, we will seriously be in contention to win it. And they are really dedicated and driven and they really want to win it. Will that get us there? Who knows? We'll have a good time. All right, thank you. All right, all good.